Yo, what up? <clears throat> Let's get this uh, finale started. We got an elite trainer's box to open up now. I think we're going to start with that. Yeah, we got, I think, two V-Star boxes or three. Okay, three. Uh, oh, actually, one's an Evolution box. Okay, so two V-Star boxes, an Evolution box. A uh, RCS box and a Charizard Premium box. So those are the other things that we have left. So this is the Elite Trainer box. It has uh, a little Vulpix on it. It's the uh, Pokemon Center one. So it ha has two more booster packs. And I think it also comes with a Vulpix card. Uh, v like a V-Star one. And it uh, seems like... Uh, I'm going to guess that Matt... Unfollow me, Mata Pro. Unfollow me. Somebody's got that open. Let's see how a lot of these cards look. I know some of them look really good, but yeah, Superior here. We got the Superior V from earlier, which is a rare. Radiant Zarina, that's one of my favorite Pokemon. There's also like some Victini cards in here too. We got Mawile. There's a, oh, it's gonna expect a Gallade and Gardevoir, but just it's just Gardevoir. But then again, Gallade already has time to time shine. There's also Reggie Drago as well. Magirna V looks really cool. Let's see what the trainer cards are like. Oh, seems like ho is also in this, so interesting enough. Yo, Python! <laughs> what is up? Yeah, it's like I was streaming a couple of hours ago. We're back for uh, the finale of the uh, Pokemon card opening stream. I did three parts, so I guess this is, yeah, this is the third part now. Hope you're doing well. That chilling stream was crazy. Saw everybody, and it was like just amazing to see all the Chillinati once again in chilling. Uh, so this is the uh, the card sleeves. It has Lugia on it. it. Has all the standard like stuff in here. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow, it comes with two of them. I'm guessing this one's, yeah, Alone Vulpix, so it comes with two card sleeves. Alone Vulpix and uh, Lugia. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Obviously, it comes with the energies and other stuff, like most of these things do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah, we're not we're getting to the big boys now. I'm aggressively tempted to drop eighty dollars on a tired decidia fr franchise today. Holy shit, was it on sale? I heard a lot of good things about that franchise. I always see it like on some of the better sellings on uh on the Switch eShop. Like it's always like on uh on great deals, like on more popular parts. It's on the Steam Steam sale. Damn, the winter sale's already on. Gotta check that out. Although I might save up for next year. Maybe there might be a a Switch Pro, like how it's rumored every year. If there is a Switch Pro, then I'm good to saving up. But I'm definitely down to get some games. I don't know what to... There's definitely some new franchises. Like, I got the uh, AI Somnium files, the first one. Uh, I got that, but I never played it. And, like, I got a lot of games this year that I didn't play. I got both of the ship, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3, 4, and 5. Thinking of copying on Switch, but... I need more reasons to use my Steam Deck. That's true. I wish I got a Steam Deck, but I'd rather wait to get a new PC, honestly, because I get to like edit and stuff, and like uh, just get like a new, better PC to like hold, to have like a more hardware to, uh, to hold in a lot of files. 
and a lot of games in general. And also because, like, I want to start, like, having animation programs because I do some sprite work. Anyways, so let's start off with our first Silver Tempest of the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, straight up PC raw. Like that. Uh, Behija. Behem. There we go. Oh, shit, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't play it yet, but I did get both Shimigami Tensei 3 and 5. I also got 4 before the uh, 3DS eShop closed. So, uh, it's gonna close in March, which, you know, fuck Nintendo for doing that. Like, how do you expect people to purchase your old games if you don't have a way for them to be available? And I can't really, like, emulate 3DS games, because my, my computer just sucks at the moment, so... Yeah. We've got Noibat, Murkrow, Beldum... Oh my god! We got Radiance Arena! Let's go! And for the rare, Fion, the most useless one. But holy shit, let's go! It's got a nice purple. I, I like Zarina's uh, shiny. It's honestly one of the uh, best shinies uh, in Gen 7. It's got a nice, like, purple going for it. I Apparently, the fruit that it's based off of is... Uh, I forgot what it was based off of. I... Because I've seen it before. It looks pretty cool. The fruit that it's based off of. You're booting up your Wii U to back up... Uh, Wii U back up to buy Golden Sun and Golden Sun TLA because I don't think we have any chance of getting remakes or remasters. Yeah, I did see, uh... Like, a couple years ago. Like, after Mario Tennis Aces released or something like that, or after its last update, that uh, Camelot, like, updated its website... Like, looking for, uh, for new workers on a new project. And also, like, they had, like, Golden Sun in front of, like, their page. So everybody just started speculating, oh my god, are we gonna get a Golden Sun remake or something? Or a new game? And I was like, oh, that just sounds too good to be true. I wish, like, honestly, I don't know why Camelot, like, just went downhill after, like, the, the DS era. Like... If you ever played... Oh, shit, Jigchu, what's up? Uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, if you ever played the uh, Mario Tennis games on the Game Boy and ga the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance, there are RPGs with, like, human characters. And they would eventually go through, like, the academy that they're in, and then eventually, like, a, an open with, like, three other schools. And then afterwards you would fight, like... Not fight, but, like, face off against Mario and uh, the gang in a tournament. And you would beat them, and it would be like, it was pretty cool. It had, like, mini games and stuff, too. And those games are honestly, like, a lot of my childhood games. Yeah. Oh, shit, Yatsuki, what's up? But, yeah, the the GBA Mario Tennis and Mario Golf games were really good. I actually never beat in the game the GBA one. I actually never knew there was a GBA one of Mario Golf. I think I did when I was younger, but I decided on the tennis one because I like tennis more as a sport than golf. Uh, but, yeah, I got that one on the Wii U eShop. And I was like, let's go. Like, I love that series. I wish... I, I It sucks that Camelot can't do Golden Sun or a, like, Mario tennis game that's like that. Like, RPG aesthetic and whatnot. And, like, the human characters that they used to have. Uh, we got Furry Sewed gir Girl. Low Punny. Need to find your old 3DSs and stuff? I got, like... Me, I'm a cult, so I'm, like, a partial, like, collector of 3DSs. I'm only missing a new 3DS, so I have a 3DS XL, which is, which is, uh, being shipped to the UK right now. Uh, it's gonna become a capture card. I have a new 3DS XL. I have a new 2DS XL. Uh, I have a 3DS, and I have a, uh, 2DS as well. Uh, actually, I can show off my 3D, my, uh, new 2DS XL here. It's the, uh, Pokeball one. It's pretty sick. It's got the little button on top. I remember showing Spade this, and his first instinct to do was to touch the button on top, and it's actually pressable. It's pretty fun. Dude, I'm gonna fucking play Tomodachi Life. If I get it, I'm gonna fucking, like, stream it or, like, do a Let's Play of it. Uh, Quadstone, Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink, Whalmer, Dratini, Radiant Alakazam. That's our second Radiant of today. And Kaklang. If you guys, uh, whoever came in earlier, this is the first Radiant we got. We got Radiant Zarina. So, already two Radiant Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Really happy that we got those two. Uh, 
I didn't get, if you guys didn't see the rest of my stream, we didn't get uh, rate, the Radiant Gardevoir that I was missing. I think that's the only Radiant one I'm missing from Monster Origin. My Monster Hunter, the new Monster Hunter, new 3DS XL, because it's not the same time as the Majora's Mask 3DS. Oh yeah, the Majora's Mask ones definitely sell out very quickly. I remember seeing, I remember uh, they had the uh, limited edition stuff for Fire Emblem uh, Fates, like the 3DS for that one, where it's like black and white. And I remember the one that they did for Shadows of Lentia. It wasn't a 3DS, but it was like a limited edition thing. Those two things sold out real quick. And uh, I didn't know, or like I didn't have the money for a new 3DS. So I was like, eh, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure it's not going to sell out quite that quickly. And then I was wrong. And then as I got older, I tried getting Shadows of Valentia limited edition, but I was also sold too uh, slow on that one. Luckily for me, I did get the, the Pokeball one. So I'm happy with that. It's fun. It's like... It's got the colors of the Pokeball, it's got the button too. I kind of missed when Hint Fire Emblem stuff got super cult classic real quick. Yeah, they did. They they really fucking did. It's crazy how the older games just sell for... Not even older games, not just older games, but like the, the limited edition consoles also sell for like a crazy amount. I know Awakening has like a limited edition one that was Japan only. Uh, limited edition Japanese 3DS. Uh, let's start off with Lantern, Unidentified Fossil, uh, Araqu Araquanade, uh, I, I think I'm pronouncing this one wrong, Araquanid, Araquanid, there we go, Esper, Togedemaru, Smeargle, Litten, Petalo, Murkrow, Rustwell, for the rare, Hisuian Arcanine V, nice, it's the alt art too, so that's pretty cool. All right. These openings have been pretty good so far. But yeah, I uh, I saw the Awakening one. It was like a blue-ish 3DS, uh, 3DS, or like a regular one. And I think it had like the uh, the brand on it, like the brand that Lucina and Crom have. Like Crom has on her shoulder, Lucina has on her uh, her eye, like you can see in her iris. Yeah, it is a definitely good rare jig too. The I'm. <laughs> I didn't like, I, I'm not the biggest fan of suing Arcanine. I wish they gave it a different typing. I was actually pretty disappointed of it on my uh, my base team when I was using it. Like, I thought it was going to be like some cool, like stupidly strong Pokemon, but I was actually a little bit disappointed by it. Because it kind of died a lot. <laughs> Dragonair, Venomoth. Like, it looks very cool, but it just disappointed me. Wallace, Vulpix. Shout out to Kuryumi. Growlithe. Drowsy, Mistrevis, Murkrow, Articuno Reverse Foil for the rare Superior V. That's our second Superior V. Auto Mod. What the hell? Allow. Times 4 Greet. Ground Weakness kind of eats ass. Yeah, pretty much. I, I just don't like it for that. Really sucks that, uh, that this cool Pokemon got like a very bad typing for it's like Hisuian form. I remember seeing someone do like a a paradox, like past paradox Cinderace, and they gave it fire rock and I was like, oh they they literally just gave Cinderace a bad typing. Like it'd make more sense if it was fire fighting. Yeah, it was because you said ass. I think it might be Nightbot. I don't know why Nightbot has been doing that recently. Like, I understand with, like, all caps stuff, because, like, sometimes people do get a little bit annoyed of someone just doing all caps, but, like, that, I I'm fine with cursing. <laughs> as long as it's not, like, anything gross or inappropriate, then, yeah, then that's fine. Like, cur cursing's fine. Wallace, Brandon, Jinx, Volpix, Molga, Chimeco. Drowsy, Baneri, Swirlix, Reverse Foil for the rare, Frostlass. Oh, you can see Can uh, Candace in the background. We are halfway through the Silver Tempest packs here. But yeah, like just like making giving a Pokemon a bad typing in its alternate form just kind of sucks because usually. Like, you give them a cool typing so that, or like a different typing entirely, to get, make them stand out more. 
like they did with the uh, Hisuian Zorark. Like, they gave it a typing that was, like, never used before, like, normal with Ghost. Which is why that one was very well received, while Hisuian Arcanine was not. It was, like, well received design wise, but, like, usage wise, like, yeah, no one's gonna use that, especially if you're a lot of, like, Pokemon no Earth Power and uh, Earthquake in Legends Arceus. Paradox Territory is, oh, yeah, that also sucks for it, too. Uh, Glalie, Candice. Fungus, Sandy Gas, Relicanth, Halucha, Rufflet, Reverse Foil, Relicanth for the rare Among Us! We did it, boys. We pulled the greatest Pokemon ever Among Us. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Even though Mecha, Mecha Tyranitar just looks so cool. Yeah, you really like Iron Moth? Yeah, that one's also cool. I, I'm at least happy that Iron Valiant came out really well. Psychic, uh, no fairy psychic. You know, fairy fighting is pretty cool typing, honestly. It's so honestly has like a really sick design because Gardevoir and Galade are like my two favorite Pokemon, and uh, I just like them being fused together like that into this like ultra mega death version of them that's like built by an evil genius when he came to the past and it's like just causing havoc iron juggalus honestly dropped the ball too yeah a lot of the uh a lot of the future variants did kind of drop the ball a lot of people don't like them because they feel like too robot -y. not dragon Dra oh yeah definitely yeah because dragon uh dark it's definitely disappointing. They could have done th done something way cooler for that. Uh, Torka. This is the only one I think we're missing from the Litten line. It's also doing a very cat-like thing. It does get rid of the four times fairy weakest. That is true. Venomoth, Mistrevis, Swablu, Swirlix, Rotom, Dreepy. Reverse Foil Torcat for the rare Delphox. That looks pretty cool. I like this, uh, the lighting in this one. But yeah, I just don't like Pokemon with four times weaknesses. Unless it's, like, a Pokemon that has a way to negate it in some sort of way. Like, for example, if a Pokemon has, like, Levitate for an ability. Like... That's what makes Metagross so good, I think, because I think it has a Levitate, so it's able to to get rid of that weakness that it had. And then Gengar pre-Generation 6 had Levitate as well. And that's what get, get, got rid of its uh, Psychic weakness. Uh, not Psychic weakness, uh, dark Ground weakness. Only other Dragon Poison is like the scrub like Kalos. Doesn't have Lev, but it has Clear Body. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never really used the, uh, that line. I remember, because I always go for Gudra instead, because I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute. I love Gudra a lot. Uh, we got Croc Rock. We also had Clang from earlier. Honorith. Beldum. Crogunt. Uh, Sol Solacis. Zubat. Elgium. Reverse Royal Sun Floor. And for the rare, a... Earthen Seal Stone. Huh, that looks pretty cool. I guess it's a very rare card, but, like, um, the Iron I ones aren't as cool as, like, you know, the actual trainer or Pokemon card ones. You pick Dragale Age over Noivern and Gudra because you got the shiny of it. Uh, that makes sense. Every time I get, like, a shiny of something. Oh, yeah. I love both Hisuian and base Gudra. The Sumer and Gudra may be a little bit more because uh, of its typing, but I love Gudra nonetheless. I think I would use it if I ever let's play to X and Y. I think I've used it for my last playthrough of it. And it was really good, even though uh, it took a little while to level it up, but it was worth it at the end. Because that thing like barely died, it was just a pure dragon like machine with like a huge move pull. Two, three, and four...
because you never saw it in game. You thought it was Gen Five. You know what? Some people legitimately thought that uh, Skarmory was from Gen Three because of how prominent it was in that Gen. Since uh, Gen Two didn't really even have it like appear in sometimes. Uh, Sigalith, Gym Trainer, Curlia, Fall Toy, uh, Sunkern, Fanfi, Indeedy, Marini. Friends and get oh my god that looks pretty cool and we got Reggie Drago V, look at that wow it's got the whole Galar game you got Marnie Bead, uh, Hop Gloria and uh, Victor, I can't believe I know all their names. Let's get a closer look. Wow, really really good cards. Admittedly, I hate Scarm, so I'm glad Corviknight does all the things that Scarm does, but better. <laughs> That's true. Poor Scarm, he got outdone by a badass armored bird. But too bad, <laughs> now... That's a card I... Oh, damn, Jigchu, holy shit. Well, if you get Volo, then you then that's that's your way of getting back somehow. I don't know how if, that, if that's a way of getting back, but if you get Volo, then that's, <laughs> that's you getting uh, my luck. Or the card that I want. But now, now, uh, Corviknight has to worry about Tinkaton, <laughs> just obliterating it. Yeah, they have a, oh, in a, not in Silver Tempest, but in Lost Origin, they have a Volo card. Uh, I have the Japanese one of it, because I saw it and I was like, oh, they, this might be a Japanese-only, uh, series. I did not know that Lost Origin was, was going to come to, uh, America, like, to the West, so I decided, fuck it, let me just get it, and I got the Rainbow one, because it was like $10. And it was, like, uh, from a card-selling company, and I was like, holy shit. Because I, I don't know why, for some reason, a lot of the rainbow ones were selling cheaper than the regular one. Now, both of them are selling like crazy, but uh, I think my camera's not showing it, so I'm going to show it here. There we go. But yeah, I want to get a, uh, I want to get one. It's funny because lore-wise, Tinkaton fucks up, <laughs> fucks with Corviknight, but in-game, it gets walled hard by, by, uh, by it. Yeah, it does. Uh, I actually kind of took one down, but uh, there's been a strategy that they found with uh, Tinkaton in VGC where uh, you can have a Pokemon with huge power, give use skill swap on Tinkaton with huge, so they get so Tinkaton gets huge power, and I get I think one of Tinkaton's abilities actually benefits that Pokemon you skill swap with, so it benefits both at the same time. Like they just get a superior ability. That works with each other and synergizes really well and take it on just becomes like a, a like a not only a tank but it also becomes a one-shotter because like just imagine gigaton impact uh gigaton hammer with huge power oh yeah that does yeah that does sound interesting something like freeze dry and they did it bonus damage on steel types yeah that would make a lot of sense because like it's just like just smashing up a lot of steel types with like a stronger base of steel. Yeah, freeze dry I think does that. Yeah. All right, we got dark energy. I think this is the last one from the elite trainer box. Uh, Matang, Toxapex, Rip Toxapex mains by the way. Lance, Fletchling, Chimeco, Feebas, Fennekin, Spinarak, Reverse Foil, L L L and for the rare Gardevoir. Oh, look at how peaceful it is. One of my favorite Pokemon. I don't, I don't care if it's not a, a foil or a reverse foil. I'm putting it with the rare with the the, the rare stuff we got. All right, that's it for the Elite Trainer box. The whole gist of Tinkaton is kill other Steel types and harvest their scraps to make a hammer. I mean, I if they I honestly legit want to see how Mawile would compare to this. Because I know Mega Mawile back then with huge power was pretty crazy. It's like, imagine giving Tinkaton huge power. Honestly, it'd be pretty cool if they did. Like, if there was, like, a natural way to give it to, to it, aside from skill swap. Because I feel like Tinkaton with huge power would make a lot of sense. Like, lore-wise. Because it's just, like, this tiny little thing, and it gets, like, a huge boost in power. Like, how are they gonna, like, do that to, like, one of, like, er, er, this is, like, literally everybody, almost everybody that I know, is that's their favorite, like, Pokemon of this gen. 
Oh, I forgot. There's also a coin of Alolan Vulpix in here. Wow, the coin came a tiny bit damaged. Wow. Like, over here, there's like a little part coming out. Yeah, there's the uh, coin. Anyways, let's put these back in here. Own Tempo or Mold Breaker? Isn't Own Tempo the one where, like, you don't get confused? Because uh, that's usually good on, like, a Pokemon that, uh, that uses something like, uh, like, Petal Dance. Kind of like, uh, the strategy a lot of people used with, uh, with, uh, what's her, what's his face, uh, God, uh, Lilligant, there we go. I remember back in Gen 5, Lilligant, that's what people would do, they would have own tempo, pedal dance, and just, like, shred everything to death with it. Well, on a casual playthrough, since, like, you know, they didn't, the AI doesn't know how to switch out sometimes. Actually, wait. You did run Lilligant on Gen 5, Gen 6 Showdown? Yeah, Lilligant is a pretty interesting Pokemon. I know it's like, a lot of people like say it's not as good as uh, its counterpart. Uh, what's Cotney's evolution again? Oh, uh, Winscott. There we go. No, Winscott. Didn't I say that right? Yeah, Wins Winscott. Yeah, but yeah, people don't think it's like as good as that one, but... Honestly, I still think it's pretty solid overall. Alright, uh, what do you guys, what should we open up next? Should we open up a V-Star box? Should we open up an Evolution box? Uh, should we open up the Arceus V-Star? Or should we open up the Charizard one? Prankster Tailwind is huge, yeah. I remember how, uh, some people banned, uh, some people even used Cottony with, uh, Prankster Tailwind as well, which is crazy. Like, they would give it, uh, an item for it to be able to live. Like, that's how crazy that thing was. But yeah, what do you guys think we should do next? Otherwise, I think I'm probably going to go for the first B star box. Because this is basically going to be like the last card stream for a while. Unless I get more cards soon. See, wow, it's almost 11. Actually, I think it already is 11. Uh, let's get a box. I think we're going to start off with Palkia. Oh, shit. It's, it's one of the uh, giant card boxes. So, yeah, it has a giant card. That was my keyboard. Hopefully nothing happened to it. Okay, it's good. I have to move it back up, though. I do want to save the box, though, so that I can, like, cut out Origins Ar uh, Arceus for, like, a, a scrapbook that I have. Oh, shit. Okay, at least, at least uh, that's fine. So apparently I heard that uh, What's-His-Face wants to bring back his uh, old team from Gen 6 that won the World Championships in 2013, I think? The one with uh, Pachirisu. I think it was Pachirisu, Gardevoir, Garchomp, uh, and three other Pokemon, but I know those three were on that team. Yeah, it's the Pachirisu team. That was, like, going crazy. Uh, two Fusion Strikes. Two Astral Radiances. And two Lost Origins. And it also comes with the Giant card. Yeah, the Pachirisu Tank Team. Yeah, he apparently wants to do it again in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Origin Form Palkia. The Giant card of it. Looks really sick, honestly. I gotta find out where my uh, Giant card... Uh, 
well, mini binder is. So I could put it in there. Pretty sure I know where it is just by looking. And it comes with a pin of Origin Palkia. I, I remember someone did a meme of like, uh, if you combine Origin Giratina, Origin Palkia, and Origin, uh, an Origin Giratina, like the three, like, Origin forms of them. <laughs> oh, there's the, uh, alt art of V, and there's the, uh, small card up close. But, uh, I remember someone did a meme where they combined, like, the small, like, parts of each Origin form, and they were like, each of them makes up Ar uh, Arceus. Like, they took the, uh... Yeah, it does, yeah, if you get, like, a piecemeal of the three, yeah, basically what I was trying to say. Yeah, you get, you get Ar Arceus sort of, which is funny. But it does make sense, since they're, like, trying to grab Arceus's power and try to, like, look like him in a way. And there's the coin. It looks very cool. It looks very... I like the Metallica hollow look of it. All right. And now for what we've been waiting for. We're going to be opening up the Fusion Strikes first. But yeah, I'm probably going to be playing Melee or afterwards with viewers or with randos online. It's been a while since I've played either. I'm probably not going to do ranked uh, for uh, ultimate. Or not ultimate, uh, melee, if we do uh, melee. Uh, we got a fighting energy, a fusion strike energy, Chertinator, Hukumuku, more Pico, Eevee, Shel Shelder! I had to do that reference, Chillin saying Shelder! Like that. Because I know Shelder says, that like, says, says it like that in the anime. Pantsage, Reverse Foil, Pukumuku, and for the rare, Luxray. Shout out to Chillin. I wonder if he's going to do, like, periodic streams. Like, here and there. Or if he's just good, if those just, like, that kind of, like, small update thing before the end of the year. And so I hear my cat meowing outside. He's like, meow, meow. One, two. Three and four. Alright, fire energy. Marsh stop. Eldegoss. Halucha. Basculin. Thought that was his suing Basculin for a second. Gulpin. Mankey. Krogun. Panseer. Reverse Royal Battle VIP passing for the rare. Corviknight. All right, let's get the uh, Astral Radiance ones. Fire Energy, Zisu, also I hear him scratching at my door, so I might open it for him. Canceling Co Cologne, Sheldon, or Shieldon, Poochiana, Swinub, Pissuian Quillfish, Petalo, Nicket, Reverse Foil, Temple of Sinnoh, and for the rare, Vespaquin. Looks pretty cool, I never, I, th I don't think I've gotten this one, unless I'm misremembering, but... Temple of Sinnoh one looks really cool. It, I just like how it looks before it's broken down, because it looks like the Parthenon. So let me uh, open up my door for Achilles. See if he wants to come in.
It's not a stream. I'm gonna lay down. He always does this. <laughs> It's so cute of him. He just comes up and he wants to be petted. He's purring away. Yes, I know this is a card. Well, a booster pack. It has a bunch of cards in them. He's like rubbing himself on it. He's going to sniff the camera now. Or not. Yes, I know. <laughs> Are you going to be my good luck charm? <laughs> Alright, let's see if uh, Achilles gives us some good luck. I'll give you some pets if you uh, bring me good luck. He's chewing on it. <laughs> He's like... Psychic Energy, Roxanne, Togetic, Gusty Pickaxe, uh, Bergamite, Hippopotatus, I don't like that Pokemon at all, Cyndaquil, Scyther, Visuian Growlithe, oh, look who it is, we got a Clevor with, uh, what's his face, uh, Clay's uh, Ancestor, that looks pretty cool, and for the rare, Glaceon. Cute, cute. Very good opening there. Uh, it has a, it has its pawn uh, Petra Berry over there. If you could uh, see it more clearly. But uh, yeah, we got that cool art. All right, and now it's the Lost Origin pack. So we haven't opened up one of these in a bit. So Achilles did bless that one with luck. Let's see, are you going to bless this one with luck? He is. We've gotten the Achilles approval. Can you please open? I hate when the card is literally like... Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! It's like the plastic is still on there. There we go. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, and four. All right, we got Bronzong, Colress's Experiment, Lost City, Love Disc, Gligar, Wurmple, Rhyhorn, Murkrow. Oh wow, Charizard with uh, what's his face? Uh, Leon. Let's he Achilles blessing us again and. Holy shit, that Garatina art. I think I've gotten this one before. Holy shit, that alt coat, that alt uh, art. Achilles blessing us again. With some good RNG. Alright, last one. Are you also going to bless this? He is. He's even trying to chew on it. Alright, Achilles has spoken. Will he 3 peep? Oh no, don't leave. Don't leave. No. No. Yes, that's my keyboard. Alright, one, two, 
three and four. What is it? I'm trying to make himself comfortable. Uh, grass energy. Uh, damage pump. So Viper. Uh, Galarian Stunfisk. Oddish. Lickitung. Slugma. Clefairy. Apom. Reverse Royal Snowburn for the rare. Curum VMAX. We got one of these yesterday. So Achilles once again blessing us. So that's my second Curum VMAX. Which is pretty cool. All right, let's move on to another box. Achilles is rolling on the floor. What are you doing? A big old stretch for them too. So Achilles went three for three on very good luck. <laughs> All right, so we got the Zorark one next, the Hisuian Zorark one. And uh, that one was a little bit easier to open up. This one also has a giant card in it. And a coin, too. And a pin. What are you doing? You're, you're laying down over there? Alright, so I think this one's also got two, fu two fusion strikes. So we got an astral. So two fusion strikes. Two Lost Origins and two, uh... Oh, wait, actually, no, this one has a has a, a few different ones, actually. So this one has a Revolving evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, one Fusion Strike, one Astral Radiance, and two Lost Origin packs. And here is the pin. It's got a nice blue background to it, too. And there's the Magnet. I think the V-Star things are Magnets, I think, because the black part is... Look like black at the back. Mm. And there's the the alt art for it. it. Looks pretty cool. And there's the V Star art too. Looks really sick, honestly. I was just like pointing that way, like its pose. And the giant card. That was the coin that fell on the floor. There's the coin. It's also got that same coloring, so it's gonna look like a nice rainbow color when you like do that. There's the giant one. So a nice up close uh, view of it. All right, we're gonna start off with the other ones and then end off with Lost Origins. Achilles, are you? Can you do me the favor? He's, he's giving it a bit of luck. Alright, first pack from this box. So I think after this, we only have the three big ones left. We only have the Evolution, the RCS V-Star, and the uh, Charizard Premium box left. So yeah, those three big boxes are our last ones. Yeah, Achilles is bringing all the good luck, Chu Chu. The uh, last three openings have had something of very high interest. Alright, Water Energy to start us off. Mandai Buzz. Ninetales, shout out to Kuryumi. Farewell Bell. Tynamo. Galarian Meowth. Gossiflor, Panpour, Eevee, Reverse Foil, Semi-Pour, and for the rare, Cinderace V! Cool. One of my favorite starters. You'll love to see it. Achilles, once again, providing some good luck. Will you do it again, Achilles? He sniffed it. He didn't grind his teeth against it like he did with the other one, so... Just a little bit of luck. He's grabbing and playing with one of the plastic things. No, chewing on plastic is bad. Hold on, let me get that away from him. It's not for you, it's not for kids. 
Maybe a hollow? Probably. Let's see. Four. You want to go outside afterwards and see if uh, Mod was back? Oh, my sister. Uh, Hatterem, Drizzle, Peony, Heracross, Sobble, Inkay, Squovit, Score Bunny. Oh, this looks cute. I was just pushing the snowball away. Coughing, Reverse Foil, and For the Rare, Gengar Hollow. My sister would like this one, honestly. Oh, he wants to come out. All right playing with the key on my door. It's like literally a giant key, so I'll open the door for him. Alright. Next up, Evolving Skies. I haven't opened up a Evolving Skies one in forever. I know they have the uh, Gigantamax Pikachu as like one of the cards. And I got a very rare Rayquaza once from it too. It was really cool looking. Okay. No more Killies to provide us luck, so we're on our own from here. Here we go. We got ourselves a Steel Energy. Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Pyroar, Flaffy, Amolga, Tentacool, Pumpkaboo, Bagon, Love Disc, Reverse World Cutie Fly for the rare Wishy Washy. Ah, uh, that was the that was the end of the the luck streak. I wonder how they like do this like how they decide like which boxes get like rares and stuff or is it just like all random like, i don't understand card development at all or like how they put cards in uh different things okay yeah achilles wanted to come out so I have to let him out. Or else he would probably be uh, meowing too loud on the stream. <laughs> like crying at me. Let me out! Heavy Ball. Perugly. Muxi. Cyndaquil. Pursuing Growlithe. Bergmite. Ruffit. Ponyta. Reverse Foil. Weight and Sea Turbo. And for the rare, Regigigas. Pretty cool looking. Looks badass here. Isn't there an item now that, like, negates abilities? So, like, Slack King and uh, Regigigas could actually be used quite a bit with that item. Python, if you're still here, could you confirm that? Because I remember seeing something like that, but I don't know, uh... I don't know if I was, like, my vision was fucking around with me and I was just reading it wrong. I don't know, but I remember seeing something like that. But there was an item that literally removes the ability of a Pokemon. So you could literally, like, screw over Pokemon by using, like, I like an item swapping move. Or you could, like, help up your own Pokemon by giving them an ability. Well, if they have an ability that's bad for them, like Regigigas or uh, Slacking, you could just use the uh, item on them. All right, our first of the two Lost Origin packs here, we got Dark Energy, Solana, Porygon 2, Colrus's Col Experiment, Dot, Tynamo, Wurmple, Shuppet, Murkrow, and we got another Commando uh, Snorlax for the rare Hoopa. It's in its, a, uh, its other form. This is the third time I think I got in the Snorlax one. All right, here we go. And we got the big three. All 
don't know what we're going to open up next, though. Right, we got a card with a, the V star on it. Stunfisk, Survivor, Seedra, and there was also a seal there. Rockruff, Ducklet, Suing Growlithe, Shellos. Radiant Gardevoir, we finally did it! Yes! We finally got Radiant Gardevoir and a Malmar. We got Radiant Gardevoir finally! Let's go! That's not a spam! Oh my god, I need a... How do I turn off Nightbot? What's the command to turn off Nightbot? Uh... Fuck off, Nightbot. <laughs> yes, we did it! Let's go! Radiant Gardevoir. I've been waiting to finally get it. Alright, at least we got one of the things I wanted. There's still Volo left, though. Alright. We're down to the three big boxes. What should we open up first? Should we open up the Evolution one, the Arceus one, or the uh, Charizard one? these three left. No more booster packs, no more tin boxes, no more V-Star boxes, just those three left. I'm going to give the quick choice, and then if, no if nothing's said, then I will probably go with the EV one first. Since it's the last, like, box variation that's like these two. Eevee? Alright, the people have spoken. We got the Eevee Eeveelutions box. It's a premium collection one. It has all eight of the Eeveelutions here spiraling around their uh, V cards, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's a lot of packs in here. I think there's. Yeah, there's a promo card of each Eeveelution and nine booster packs. So let's do this. This is the Eevee one. Let's see, will this take me eons to open up? I love that pun. Alright. Here we go. So, we have one Chilling Rain, two Fusion Strikes, two Brilliant Stars, two Astral Radiances, and two Lost Origins. And it has a cool little wheel thing, like a rainbow wheel. I think I might keep this as well to go with the uh, Eevee's colors. Without further ado, let's remove this slowly. Okay. I like how this is, like, shaped. Like, look at this. It's got, like, spiraling around. Alright, the first one we pulled out was Vaporeon, and that looks pretty cool. Shout out to Spade, it's one of his favorite Pokemon. Uh, I think his top three are like Haunter, Gengar, and, and Raichu. Uh, hold on, someone's knocking at my door.
Sorry about that. Gonna have to feed the cats afterwards. All right, so we got Vaporeon first. Let's see. Let's go with this one. Oh, it's Flareon. Really nice art. I like how it's all the art, the alt art, rather than the 3D ones. Let's slide the Vaporeon one very slowly over here. I'm guessing this is Jolteon. No, it's Eevee itself. Very cute. I'm going to guess this one is Jolteon. Yep. There's Jolteon. And this one is Leafeon. Lacyon. And we got the final three. I'm guessing this one is going to be Umbreon. Espeon. Okay, that's close enough. Very pretty, this one. I like the, uh, the lighting coming from its gem on its head. Umbreon. Oh, no, it's Sylveon. Wow. Because it was the one next to Espeon. Very pretty colors. And I'm guessing the last one is Umbreon. Because obviously it is going to be Umbreon. That's the only one we haven't seen yet. Very cool. All right, we're going to be opening up the Chilling Rain one first. So I'm also going to be up, up yeah, uh, yeah, Umbreon's pretty cool. It's I don't think it's my favorite evolution, but it's I think it's up there, like top three. Nope. There we go. That one opened up very weird. But yeah, this is probably going to be the last... I'm probably going to end off stream just for a bit so I could have the VOD separated because I'm going to upload each VOD of uh, opening up the cards. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to be uploading those onto YouTube afterwards, but... Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Then we're, I'm going to end off stream just for a bit and also take like a tiny break and I'll be back on later for Melee or Ultimate. Uh, we got Clara, Brawly, Haunter, Hisu uh, no, I was going to say Hisuian Farfetch, but that's Galarian Farfetch. I want to say Hisuian for a second. Sneasel, Furfuru, -fur 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 Brawler, Snover, and for the rare, Ampharos. Aww. It's in the lighthouse and shiny its little bulb. Uh, uh, from its tail. I love Ampharos. It's one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. Always good to see it. Alright, on to the Fusion Strikes. There is... Okay, so there's one card that I would absolutely love, but I don't think there's any more packs of it left. Like, the pack that it comes from. It's from a Gen 7 series. I think it's, like, based off the Ultra Beast, and it has... Uh, Mother Beast Lusami as one of the ultra rare cards, and uh, I love that card. That card looks amazing. How they drew the person who drew Lusami, like they made her look insane. Like it looks amazing how well that that one looks. I like the colors of it, the black from the uh, from Nihiligo. Honestly, it's like that's probably one of my favorite cards that I don't do not have aside from Volo. You know, I technically do have Volo. I want an English one. Alright, Darkrai, uh, Croconaw, also Sparkle, Choo, uh, Choo, Choodle, I was, I was gonna mispronounce the same, that's, I just need to make sure, uh, Volibee, Dupider, Meowth, Onyx, Reverse Foil for Alligator, and for the rare, Galarian Obstagoon, neat, neat, honestly the Feraligator one looks badass. I'm going to put that one here. Frogator is my favorite of the Gen uh, 2 starters. It's pretty cool. Although, I don't know why, for some reason lately, uh, Typhlosion and Meganium have also been growing on me. I actually kind of want to use them one day uh, to actually beat the game. I've used uh, Cyndaquil before, but like I barely beat the game. Like I think I was at like Gen 7 in Harkold Soul Silver with uh, the Typhlosion, and I didn't beat the game because like, I hadn't played for like a few months. And I was like, uh, I don't really like my team composition anymore. And I decided to restart. I 
And also because I felt like it, I, it was too similar to like a past team that I used in another game. I think oh, the Ultram Prism set, I was going to buy more packs of that because of Gen 4 cards in it. Oh, damn. Yeah, I the Ultra Prism ones, I got only a few of them. And the only reason why I got... I think I got an Ultra Prism uh, Elite Trainer box before. And uh, I wanted to get Lucimi from that one. But uh, it was the only one I had. And unfortunately, she did not appear. I did get like regular Lucimines, but that was about it. Anyways, we got Cook, a Cargo, Charger Bug, Tynamo, Glaring Meowth, Gossifloor, Panpour, Eevee, Reverse Foil Titar. Well, oh, that was Turtney. That was good. I thought it was Tur uh, Tyranitar for a second. And Hollow and, and uh, VMAX Boltund. Nice. But yeah, Ultra Prism Lusamine is really, really sick. I wish I had that card. Uh, let's do Brilliant Stars next. Going in order. From uh, oldest to newest. Well, so I'm probably going to be need water soon. I haven't uh, really drank any. I have a colon spring right there. I think I'll drink some. Wow, that one was really hard to open. But yeah, if there's one card I could buy, I wish it was that one, but that's just way too expensive. All the, like, the ones I see on sale are just like going for crazy amounts. And I'm like, uh, really wish I could have that one. Maybe I actually have to go to like a card store or something, because I feel like uh, they might have it for like at least a cheaper price. Rather than like an online card store or like eBay. Because those would obviously like sell it for like a lot. It's kind of like if you buy like retro games, it's better to buy in person than, or than on eBay. Uh, anyways, we got Electric Energy, Hunting Gloves, Starivia, Barry. It was me, Barry. Throw, Magmar, Staryu, Burmy, Sock, Turkle versus Foil, and for the rare. Uh, yeah, Escalivar. There we go. I have to pronounce that correctly. I have to sit back for a bit, my like standing up straight for that long. And like leaning in, like going back and forth between standing up straight and leaning in is kind of hurting my back. Wow, I opened that up upside down. Okay. Let me actually scooch up a bit. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Here we go. Fighting energy. Uh, Collapse Stadium, Luxio, Pot Helmet, Dedene, uh, Cubchu, uh, Duskull, Farfetch, Execute, Rose Roseanne's Backup, and for the rare Foil Lucario. Nice. I'm not sure who is Roseanne anyways. I feel like I know who the character is, but... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it might be from Gen 5. I'm thinking of, like, the Dream Trainer and her backup is, like, I don't know, like, the uh, other person that helps you out with the Dream World stuff. I could be wrong, but I don't th I don't know any other Roseanne. Like, there's obviously Roxanne, but that's an entirely different character. Alright, this one is a... Oh, my God, I accidentally opened up one Monster Origin. Uh... Put that there. <laughs> I was meant to start off the Astral Radiance ones. All right. Wow. 
one, two, three, and four. Dark Energy, Gardenia's Vigor, Temple of Sinnoh, Wait and See Turbo, Hippopot Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, Galarian Quillfish, Hissuing, wait, wait, not Galarian Quillfish, Hissuing Quillfish, Hissuing Growlithe, uh, Bergamite, and Reverse Full Ponyta for the rare Regieleki. Mm, now, I was going to say now we go on to Lost Origin, but I forgot there's still one more Astral Radiance. Okay, the swelling of my uh, my gum from my wisdom tooth is going away, so at least I feel that's more comfortable. I was actually able to chew on it a bit earlier. So it's making progress, at least. Alright. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Roseanne is a Gen 4... The assistant at, o at Rowan's lab. Her hair is brown in her sprite, but she has blue hair in the manga. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool that they uh, referenced the manga with that. Because she's more important than the manga. Wow. I, that's a, honestly pretty cool. Uh, I never knew that. R Cricketoon, Unnamed Fossil, Bronzong. I never really read the Pokemon manga. I've only read, like, the, uh, the Gen 1 with uh, the red and green volumes. I never read anywhere past that. I know that... Gen 5's manga goes crazy because, like, the gym leaders get crucified. And, uh, I know Gen 7's, like, Lusa means even more insane in that one. Uh, Ashoat, Sudowoodo, Magnemite, Ralts. I like this one. I like how it's standing in front of, uh, Mount Cornet. Hisuian Sneasel, Radiant Greninja. That's my second Radiant Greninja. And for the rare, Mightyena. But yeah, a lot of the, uh, Gen five uh like anywhere past gen one in terms of uh manga you read the red and blue rescue team one with torchic oh yeah i forgot that they also made ma mangas for the for the mystery dungeon games as well oh yeah speaking of the, the mystery dungeon games i might uh stream those games once i get my uh 3ds ready uh back from uh the uk because i have a capture card coming in so maybe we might play some mystery dungeon this is a really cool series. I wish more people played it. Two, three, and four. Yeah, Radiant Greninja is like, I got, that's like my second time getting it, so. Pretty crazy it took me from now to to get two of them, and, and I still only have one Gardevoir, uh, Radiant Gardevoir. Lampant, Gift Energy, Lost City, Hisuian Zora, Seal, Rockruff, Duglet! Hisuian Growlithe, Reverse Foil Mimikyu, and for the rare, Rhyperior. Alright, now for the one that we already opened. By accident. Gift Energy, Abomina Snow, Lost City, Shuppet, Horsey, Lickitung, Clefairy, Wurmple, Gastrodon for the rare, Trainer Fantina. Oh my god, we got a Rainbow Fantina! Oh, I know someone that would be really, really jealous of me right now. Shout outs to Med. Uh, Med is a uh, script writer that I know of, and he loves Fantina a lot. Once I saw Trainer, I was like, Polo? And then now it's, it said Fantino. And once I saw the uh, the longer word underneath it. Alright, so that's it for the uh, the Eevee and Eevee Lucians box. Alright, so I think we're going to open up the... Okay, so we have the Arceus one left and the, uh, the Charizard one left. Those are the two biggest ones. Like, these are the premium collection boxes. That's my first rainbow of the day, by the way. Like, out of all three of the streams that I did, 
That's the first one. The RCS one next. All right. The Charizard one has a lot of cool stuff in it. All right. So, RCS is next. So, this one. It comes with 15 booster packs, one metal card featuring RCS V, one metal card featuring RCS V Star, one playmat featuring RCS, one metal coin featuring RCS, six damage counter dice, six metal ca damage counter dice, one acrylic V Star marker, and a code for Pokemon TCG Live. So we get a total of four Lost Origin packs, three Evolving Skies, four Astral Radiance, and four Brilliant Stars. This thing looks crazy, just by like the shape of it. This is my first time ever getting something like with premium, like, like any of the premium collection stuff. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, no Fusion Striker Chilling Rain packs. It's all, all, all Gen 4 or like, I guess, Legends RCS related packs. Well, except for Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies is uh, is the like outlier among here. Although I guess you could call like Rayquaza Divine. In a way. Okay, how does this open up now? I don't want to like accidentally rip it open or something. Uh. Okay, it's kind of like the other ones. Okay, so it's like the usual. Okay, wow, that looks that looks beautiful. Look at that. Look at the holographicness on this. Very pretty. Alright, and opening up, it's like a little treasure box. Whoa, that is a metal card. Holy shit. Like, I heard the thing, thing. I was like, oh my god, they were legit serious. I thought maybe it was going to be like a... This actually kind of has some weight to it, too. Holy shit. There's the second one here. The uh, regular V. So we got RCS V and V Star. Both of the metals. Looks really sick. Again, these have some decent weight on them for despite being cards. These are legit some hefty metal. Alright, this is the uh, mat, I think, that has RCS on it. I'm not really one to take out mats or anything. Yeah, there's the mat, and I'm guessing this is where all the other stuff are. I guess you could also put your cards in here. It's like a deck holder. Actually, no, this is a little too, too thin for that. I just realized that. These are also metal, too. Like, these also have some weight. Like, the, not like a lot. Like, obviously, when I say weight, I, I think I mentioned this before. Like, it's not a lot of weight, but, like, at the same time, that is, it's a little, like, surprisingly, like, hefty. For uh, something that small. Is a coin also made out of metal? Yeah, it is. It is made out of metal. But it's not heavy like the others. It's kind of like a quarter, honestly. Really cool, honestly. Alright, here we go. This is the moment we've been waiting for. You have to separate the, uh, and put these two back in here for now. I don't know how to, put, to like, display any metal cards. That's just, like, the first time I'm ever having them. I'm like, how do you, like, put this away? You can't really put it in a uh, binder, like a card binder, like anything else. Like, I don't know. That's pretty insane. So there we go. That's one half, and... Here's the other. Put this here for now. But yeah, I honestly have no way to like how to like hold them in. I think I'm just gonna probably keep them in there. And like if I ever wanna like show them off or like 
or something like that, I'd probably have to like separate, uh, take them out. All right, so brilliant stars, evolving skies, evolving skies, brilliant stars, brilliant stars. So that's all four of them. Astral Radiance, these are the four. Okay, those are the four Astral Radiance packs, and these are the four Lost Origin packs. Low-key, really want to put on Arceus' theme just for this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this, this box requires the God's theme. The God of Pokemon's theme, so... I'm going to obviously put on the Legends Arceus version. Okay, I'm going to put desktop music on. All right, there we go. Evolving Skies is our first one. Let's go. I hope you guys, I hope it's not too loud. If anything, let me know. What, will Arceus bless us with his luck? Alright, here we go. Our first Revolving Skies pack from the Arceus box. Dark Energy. Ribbon Badge. Avalug. Ribbon Bee. Birdmite. Nicket. Sableye. Applin. Cutifly, Reverse Foil, Lip Up, uh, Lip Up, and Talonflame as our rare. He hasn't blessed us quite yet. Volume's good? Alright. It's not like a, you can still hear it, the music, but it's not like too overly loud. Alright, that's good. Uh, Rescue Carrier. Aroma Lady. I think I've actually gotten the Aroma Lady as like a rainbow card before, which is hilarious. Bulldor, Amolga, Carvana, Bergmite, Nicket, uh, Sableye, Reverse Foil Pyroar, and for the rare, Suicune V. All right, that's the uh, alt art, I think. You thought you saw a gold border? Uh, no, nah, it's a silver border, I think. It's the alt art because it looks like it's more drawn than 3D. Alright, last one of the Evolving Skies ones. Oh, I forgot to put these up there. Alright, one, two, three, 
four. Electric energy, to start us off. A drone Rotom. Honestly, I would like that, to be like electric flying or some shit like that. Uh, Swoobat, Excadrill, Rockruff, Talo, Yanma, Wooper, Dedene, Burst Foil Matang, and for the rare, Flareon. All right, onto the Brilliant Star Packs. So we got four of them. Whoa. Here we go, Grass Energy. Cynthia's Ambition. Oh, we could literally get a good Cynthia card here. I've got Brilliant Stars, had like a really good Cynthia card. Okay, we got Sharon's Care, Pachirisu, Grimer, Sneasel, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Chimeco, Reverse Foil, Duskull, and for the rare, Muck. Wow, we've been streaming for an hour 30 minutes, holy shit. Alright, Electric Energy, Grodel, Trinplup, Monfern- oh wow, the three mid-evolutions right away. Golet, Chimeco, Shimchar, Minchino, Ball Toy, Reverse Foil Carablast, and for the rare, Clefable. Uh, uh, that was pretty funny how I had all three of them back to back to back. God, this part of the Star Song when it like speeds up like crazy is just hilarious. Then has like the sickest drop ever, like the sickest beat drop. And like it just glitches out because you know Arceus is just like. He's just like capable of just distorting everything. Uh, fresh water set. Sigilith. Marnie's Pride. We can also get Marnie from here too. A really good Marnie card. I think I did before though. Uh, Chimeco, Chimchar, Minchino. Ball Toy, Snow Runt, Sneasel, Reverse Foil, and for the rare, Grinstar. Fighting Energy, Executor, Friends in Galar, Weavile, Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Corfish, Golet, All Creamy, this one looks nice, and for the rare, Agron V.
There we go. Let's put on some Pokemon Winter music. Uh, in the meantime. Perfect. Got a good one to start us off. Here we go. All right. All right, starting us off. Fighting Energy, Yamega, Choi, Piloswine, Ruffet, Scyther, Barboach. Mistrevis, Hisuian Sneasel, Reverse Foil Wait and See Turbo for the Rare, Shaman. I love this song a lot, a lot. One of my favorite Gen 4 tracks, easily. Alright, let's go. This one has Samurott on it. You know my boy Samurott. I hope we get something Samurott related. I mean, we did get Cinderace earlier, and that's my starter for Galar. So, for Hisui, I want my boy, uh, my boy Samurott to show up. That's one Pokemon I wasn't disappointed using. Uh, it was really useful in a lot of fights. Especially, like, guaranteed crit critical hits made that game really easier. Because, like, a, a lot of uh, Pokemon there actually are very weak to uh, Dark Pokemon. So, it was pretty nice to use it. One, two... All right, we got Fire Energy, Cranidos, Piloswine, Sweet Honey, Shadot, Swinub, Glammeow, Hisuian Voltorb, Hisuian Basculin, Hisuian Growlithe, and for the rare, Cleavor. Just got a bunch of Hisuian Pokemon back to back to back to back to back right there. Uh, can I please grab a hold of, like, the part where you split? God, can this please not do this right now? Finally, I just had the tips of my fingers grab onto it. Alright, Grass Energy, Roxanne, Togetic, Gusty Pickaxe, Bergmite, Ruffet, Ponyard, Ralts, The Suing Sneasel, Reverse Royal Glamion for the rare Regieleki, another one. Alright, the last of the Astral Radiance pack. 
We're nearing the end. We just have the uh, Charizard Premium box left. Yeah, another Red Gialecki. You yeah, hate to see it. We even done the second DLC for Sword and Shield. It's pretty good, honestly. The DLC kind of carries Sword and Shield because it has some really good music and uh, some good lore that the uh, the main story didn't really do a good job at. Uh, Hisuian uh, Overquill. This means that Overquill is also existing regularly. Kamado, Glammeow, Poochiana, Swinub, Hisuian Quillfish, Hedalo. Suing Electrode. And for the rare, we got a Weirdier V. Nice. Oh, we got some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music. Is this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Yep, I knew it. Crystal K from Time, Darkness, and Sky. All right, here we go, the Lost Origin Packs. Isn't this the cave where you, uh, you go behind the waterfall as one of your missions? Or is this the one, like, where you're trying to find Lapras and it could take you to, uh... To like the final area. It's one of the two. Unless I'm misremembering. Steel Energy. Seedra. Dotler. Damage Pump. Roselia. Apom. Rhyhorn. It is a waterfall one? Okay, so I might be right. Snover. Litwick. Reverse Foil. King Drum for the rare. And a Morris V. Nice. So we got another V. And we all know who Animorphs likes a lot. Likes Kagita. And who's Kagita kind of similar to? Cynthia. You know who else Cynthia is very similar to? Lolo. You think it is a waterfall one? I think so too. It has to be. Because uh, this one I kind of... I'm very familiar with. Because they, they, they kind of have to jump behind the waterfall and that's where they go to. It's been a while since I played those games, but I do remember that part clearly. Alright, we got a Dark Energy, and why is this upside down? Nuzleaf. Riley. Why is this upside down again? Was this an error? Oddish. Litwick. Jinx. Pikachu. Machop. Rever oh! This Rose Radar looks dope! for the rare! Giratina V. Wow, we've got so many of these Giratina Vs. Upside down luck? Probably, because it got us this. The Rose Raid with... Gardenia in the back. Wow, look at that. I oh, So, I think the next time I use a Rose Raid on my team, I think I'm going to name it Mask Rose. Like, a pun off of it, Rose. Like, Rose. And, uh, Masquerade. Because it isn't the Masquerade, it does wear a mask. I, like, that pun and, run, and play on words is so good, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that card's all awesome. Guess upside down luck worked. This one, I don't know. Is it still Crystal Cave? It can't be. Okay, it's uh it's Sir Chester from uh Sword and Shield. That's the uh town I think where Melanie is from, question mark. I know that's like the icy place with the hot springs. And the hotel. I think Melanie and uh her son are the ones that run the gym there, depending on your version. 
Fire Energy, Fantina, Gastrodon, Haunter, Snover, Jinx, Inkay, Squovit, Phalanx, Reverse Royal Comfy, and for the rare, a Parasect. I don't know the it kind of reminds me of Earthbound a bit, like the like the little like uh guitar in the beginning or whatever string instrument music that it was. All right, the last of the Lost Origin pack from this, and then we're finally moving on to the last one, the Charizard one. Definitely gonna need a water break after this one. All right, here we go. Steel Energy to start us off. Bronzong. Porygon 2. Colrus's Experiment. Seal. Sh uh, Shuppet. Machop. Pikachu. Phantom. Reverse Foil Mimikyu. And for the rare, Landorus. Screw you. Fuck you, Landorus. I hate you. All right. Here we go, the last one. The big boy of them all. It comes with three Fusion Strike, three Evolving Skies, one Vivid Voltage. Uh, I don't know how many Darkness Ablaze. Multiple Brilliant Skies, um, the Brilliant Stars, and... I think... A few, like, five Lost Origin packs. It comes with three uh, etched foil promo cards, Charizard V, Charizard VMAX, Charizard V-Star, one playmat featuring Gigantamax Charizard, 65 card sleeves featuring Gigantamax Charizard, one metal coin featuring Gigantamax Charizard, six metal damage counter coins, uh, well, dice, two metal condition markers, one acrylic V-Star marker, 16 TCG booster packs from the Sword and Shield series, a player's guide in the entire Sword and Shield, Shield series, and a promo card. This is the last one. And it, this one actually looks like a treasure chest, like even more than the other one, because it literally looks like a case. This one, I think this is from Gen 7? Question mark? Oh no, I was one gen off. Gen 6 is uh, Anastar City. Yo, bu big buffalo, hello? You owe me uh, another, like, five subs buff? Yeah, buff, you gotta learn the ways to, un to unbox Pokemon cards. Here we go. There it is. Got it opened up. Donation goal at Jake Chu. Oh, hi. You're washed? I'm not surprised. Buff, hello? You, you Can you get quid on stream? Hello? Okay, this is the play mat. Whoa. Alright, there's the first set, uh, few. There's the metal coin featuring Charizard. I think. Any bitches lately? Uh, first of all, buff? No. $5 gold to pay for $100 uh, Charizard bucks? The metallic coin. I 
I knew this was for Mexi Gala Darkness. Okay. First of all, both they're not bitches, they're women. And secondly, yes. And thirdly, why are you asking this question? Also, this is not winter music at all. This is literally a sunken ship. Okay, we got the Charizard promo cards. Hello, Buff. Uh, are you going to overtake Prolicious for the leader of my sub count? Oh, these are all the sleeves and the other stuff, so I guess I could show them off. These are the two damage coins that are also metallic. And the damage dice are also metallic. And lastly, I think I see the booklet that's being talked about. Yeah, this is the uh, complete guide, I believe. Oh shit, more Gen 6 music! You could have bought in Pokemon cards of today at the mall? I, yeah, we saw. There was a lot. Yeah, La Lavriere City, so I was right about being Gen 6. And these are the Gigantamax Charizard. Whoa, that looks fucking sick. I'm not the biggest Charizard fan, but even I can admit that this looks sick. Let me show it on here. Really cool. All right, here we go. SMH buck buff, you're supposed to get the Infernate box. True. Tell him, Jake Chew. Did I open the mat yet? No, I did not. It's probably the same thing as the... I'm going to guess that it would be the same thing as the uh, the card sleeve, in terms of its art. buff we I have a sub goal all right guys here we go it's the last one oh we got gen 5 music let's show off the promo cards first Hello, Buff? Anyways, uh... Can't believe we're already at the end here, guys. Also, I'm gonna do a water break before we uh, start opening up the rest of the cards. So these are the cards. We have Charizard V here. It's very, very peaceful compared to most Charizard art. I'm gonna go grind to Diamond Peace. SMH buff. Not gonna even gift me anything for Christmas. You got the uh, Charizard V Max. I think it's also the same as the other one. I 
And lastly, Charizard V-Star, which is a Charizard fighting Mewtwo. Try to see if Red's also here. Alright, here we go. We got one, two. We got two Lost Origin packs here. Three Astral Radiance ones. Three Brilliant Star ones. Two... Wait... Put that V-Star thing there. Two Fusion Strike. Three Involving Skies. Actually, four. three Evolving Skies. One Vivid Voltage. One Darkness Ablaze. Actually, wait. One Darkness Ablaze and one fu and Actually, three Fusion Strikes. A little bit disappointed. I wish they would have more Lost Origin ones, but guess not. Alright, here we go. We're going to start off with the One Darkness Ablaze. I haven't opened this one in forever. Hello, Buff. Your two wash will end up in gold, too. And you'll have to fight me. Buff, did you sub to Chillin? He only wants two gift subs and you're rich, Buff. Give to me, I have gifted you a lot, Buff. <laughs> Hello, Buff. Did you even gift to Chillin on his return today? Chillin returned to stream? If Buff didn't even come to, to gift subs, that's a big SMH in my book. Alright, here we go. 1 of 16. Grass Energy. Semi-Seer. Vibrava. Cape of Toughness. Lavatar, or Larvatar. Uh, Paris. Bunnelby. This is Lily's theme. Credit card problems? SMH buff. Meltan. Snubble. Reverse Foil Torchic. I like this one's cute. And Thievel. Buff, stop having people steal your credit card information. Alright, on to... I think Darkness of uh, Evolving Skies is the next one. Hello, Buff. You could have donated or gifted subs. God, I love Lily's theme. One, two, three, four... Alright, Fighting Energy to start us off. Nuzleaf, Mystery, Memory Capsule, Girafferig, Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, Milkree, Wooper, Reverse Foil Dua, and for the rare, Fortress. That's quite a lot. Let's show it's Samurott, though. Oh, there's just some Wi Fi connection music. Alright, here we go. Electric energy. Uh, we missed a Roma Lady right here. Rescue Carrier. Scrafty. Gra uh, Gossiflor. Fletchling. Scraggy. Hippopotas. Time Pole. Reverse Foil. Hydreigon. And for the rare. Talent Flame. That, uh, that art for uh, Hyd Hydreigon looks really sick, honestly. Alright, our next one from Evolving Skies. Oh, 
Okay, this one's entirely unknown to me. It might be Mystery Dungeon music. I'm gonna guess it's Mystery Dungeon music. I knew it was from Super Mystery Dungeon, Glittering Mountain. Alright, fire energy to start us off, and we also had a shopping center. Lantern. Ursaring. Zora. Tentacool. Hoppip. Dieno. Or da Dano. I don't know how to pronounce it. Mareep. Drampa, aka the pedophile killer, and Dra Drampa again, apparently. If you guys know who Grandpa Trey is, I guess this would be his favorite Pokemon. You would call him Drampa Trey! Oh, gotta mute myself for a real second.
All right, we're back. But those cards that I showed a little bit earlier were for my sister. She decided to open a pack. Well, I allowed her to open a pack. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to opening up the rest. I think she opened up an Evolving Skies one. Yeah, that was the last Evolving Skies one, which is the one she opened up. So next up, we're going to be opening up the Fusion Strike ones. Yeah, Trey invented SMH buff. Yeah, I, <laughs> he's the one that invented it. I haven't seen, like, Grandpa Trey was, like, is sick apparently, but, like, I saw his profile picture and I'm like, why the fuck does he have Grease just, like, X'd out like that? As someone who's Greek myself, I'm, like, a little, like, questionable about that. Unless he has, like, a funny, meme reason behind it, then I would understand it. Alright, uh... All right, here we go. Fighting energy. And we accidentally skipped over Dunsparce. Electric. Victini, aw, I love Victini. Minun. Panseer. Durant. Jigglypuff. Onyx. Reverse Foil, Clotzer. And for the rare, Levani. Alright, Primate, Shauna, Corvusquire, Dupire, Volibee, Choot Choodle, Phalanx, Skitty, Reverse Foil, Power Tablet, and for the rare, Greninja V, nice. I think I have this one though, but still pretty nice. Guessing this is another mystery dungeon song. No, it's actually uh Balinese from Sword and Shield, wow. Alright, last season strikes pack. Oh no! Luckily, it wasn't anything very rare, but... <sighs> Electric Energy, Quick Ball, uh, Morgem, or Morgan, Cook, Zora, Tynamo, uh, Clobopus, Baneri, Totodile, Reverse Wheel Growlithe, and for the rare, Vicabolt, or Volt. I almost said Bolt for a second, but I like made like a sound. All right, we got the three Brilliant Star Packs now. Yeah, we're halfway through, which is crazy. Like, this unboxing took place in th three different streams, which is crazy. Alright, Fire Energy, Torkoal, Double Turbo Energy, Prinplup, Purloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Corfish, Magmar, Reverse World Port Purloin for the Rare Professor's Research.
Psychic Energy, Pot Helmet, Executor, Friends in Galar, Axew, Impidimp, Magmar, Riolu, Fermi, Reverse Royal Buraloom, and for the rare, Tornadus. Last one of the Brilliant Stars. We're reaching the end. We got two more uh, series of booster packs left. I'm guessing this is from X and Y. Oh, no, it's from Gen. Uh, it's a uh, Castilia City's gym in, Gen in uh, Black Two White Two. I forgot that the that gym has that kind of theme going. Even though it's not an ice type gym, which is pretty great, which is pretty funny. All right, fighting energy to start us off. Weavile looks very menacing here. Frac uh, fracture. Team Yell Shear, Star You, Carablast, Clefairy, Cherubi, Sock, Reverse Foil Sigilith, and for the rare, Warmadam. Well, guess what? I don't give a damn. Alright, Astral Radiance packs are being opened now. Alright, Dark Energy, Kamado, Knocked Owl, Unidentified Fossil, Hippoptas, Cyndaquil, Ponyard, Pursuing Growlithe, Pursuing Voltor, but Mighty Anna, I like this one, it's very cute, and Braviary. I've gotten this one before, I kind of recognized it. Alright. Three fourths of the way done. We've got four left. Very cute doggy indeed. Oh, Snow Point City. Alright, Grass Energy. Unidentified Fossil. Dartrix. Drifloon. Ponyta, Rowlet, Bronzor, Oshawott, uh, Hoot Hoot, Reverse Foil, Stantler, and for the rare, Machip VMAX! Pretty cool! Put that there. Alright, last Astral Radiance pack. Whoa, bigger muscle, muscular mod champ. True. Got electric, Uxi, energy lotto, pursuing overquill, Yanma, swineub, nicket, pedalo, bergamite, pursuing lilligant, and for the rare, regice. I'm gonna put the pursuing lilligant with the stuff that I like. Very pretty. And finally, the last two Lost Origin packs. This is it. And we're finally done. Uh, I'm getting called one more time. Hold on.
Alright. We're here on Gen 7 music. Yep. Molly City on nighttime. Alright, let's do this. The last two. Here we go. Dark Energy. Hariyama. Sawana. Porygon 2. Inkei. Paris. Spinarak. Finneon. Blipbug. Reverse Foil. Glass Steerer. And for the rare, Hisuian Zorak V Star. Nice. Very good. All right, last one. Let's do this. We've been streaming for a total of two hours and 16 minutes. Wow. Here we go. Last one. What? Oh, it's opening upside down. I was going to say, what, another upside down pack? Gardevoir luck? Hopefully. Let's see. Will the Gardevoir give me luck? Carbink. Lake Acuity. Porygon 2, Murkrow, Rhyhorn, Wurmple, Gligar, Love Disc, Lampent, Reverse Form for the Rare, Rotom V, that's a like, third or fourth one of that. Alright, not bad. That is it. That's all the cards that I saved up from now till winter. Well, till now. Well, till, uh, from October till Christmas. And that was pretty fun, honestly. Some really overall good openings. I finally got Radiant Gardevoir. All I'm missing is an English uh, Volo. I'm gonna go see right now how much Volo goes for. $26. TCG player has five, uh, $5.60 used. There's also uh, someone selling the uh, the new card packs already of uh, his Ginkgo Guild look. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, should I get? I'm, like, tempted. If I can't get him now, I should just, uh, do that. I would buy it a little more worth than a pack. A near mint on TCG goes for 5.16. Still in good Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going for that, then. If I do end up opening up my own one, then I still keep it. I'm still going to pop off so hard for it. Let's go for it. TCG player, let's go. Buy that right now. But yeah, they're also someone selling the uh, new pack one with a. Uh, need to see what it is. Mm 
Yeah, it's the uh, Japanese Solo the Volo SR from the V-Star Universe. Uh, it's the hollow ones. Okay, let's see. Hey, pal. All right, so let's go purchase that. Yeah, there's one from the V-Star universe, which I think is the last one for the Gen 8 series. And uh, it has his regular Ginkgo Guild look, too. Yeah, I've opened up so many of them. It's like, uh It's crazy. Uh, a lot of them just going for $10 at the moment. They're Japanese only. I think I might get one of these if uh, I can't get it on the Zenith one. Okay, PayPal. Order. Okay, everything's good. All right. Now I just gotta pull all the cards away and throw off the garbage. Yeah, I agree, Jig Chu. It just it's it's really painful because like I gotten like things more rare than Volo. And especially, like, on multiple occasions, and Volo still hasn't appeared. Like, it took me that long to find Radiant Gardevoir, who should be at least, like, less often than Magnezone V-Star. Yet, yeah, I still get Magnezone V-Star, like, four or five times. I get Rotom V, like, four times. And a lot of the same Garatinas, like, multiple times, too. There we go. So, I got it. We're good. Yeah, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to throw out everything, and then I'll probably uh, boot up stream again later, to, uh, like in 15, 30 minutes from now. Yeah, pretty much. I got really excited when I saw the uh, trainer, and it had a uh, full art, and then it said Fantina. I was like, no! But let me, I was like, let me just see it anyways. That was the rainbow one. But yeah. Just going to order it. I'm going to make it come here. It's pretty... Uh, a little more worth than a pack, but I don't mind it. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna end off just for a little bit, and then we'll be back for either Melee or Ultimate. Probably gonna have to coin flip on it, because I haven't played either in, a, like, a while. But yeah, just gonna put everything away, throw out a whole bunch of, like, uh, card packs and plastic stuff. I'm gonna keep the two, the three boxes around. Uh, the, like, the ones like this. Around so I could, uh, cut them out for some, uh, of my scrapbook art. You know, just put them in there. But yeah, uh, shout outs to Python and Jig Chu and Buff for stopping by. I'll probably be back on a little bit soon for uh, a little bit of melee. Probably won't be on later, going to go out tomorrow. All right, for sure, Jig Chu. Uh, enjoy the uh, trip out. Yeah, if I am on, I'm probably only going to be on for a little bit longer. To play so a little bit of melee ultimate on which i'm gonna play at. if I'm, i don't return then i'm probably just gonna do it tomorrow when you're not there but yeah thank you so much for stopping by and uh peace uh let's see let's see i want to see who's uh streaming though right now let's check real quick who's uh who's live so we can raid real quick
Also, now that I have a 3D, uh, 3DS capture card coming, I might do some Mario and Luigi uh, uh, recordings too, like stream that. Oh shit, let's go and raid Red, Red Streaming. He was in Chillin's earlier, and I love Red. Red's a, Red's a homie. But yeah, see you guys uh, later, a little bit later for another stream. If not, then probably tomorrow. But yeah, peace out.